As part of your separation, to legally resolve arrangements for your children or divide up your assets, you might find yourself here at the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia. Make sure to watch video one, You Can Separate Smarter. It'll really help you, as you may not need to be here. But if you do, this video shares tips to help you navigate your way through the court experience. Let's take a look at the process. There's no need to stress. At this stage, I simply want you to become familiar with some of the steps and events that may be part of your experience. This diagram walks you through all of your events ending with a trial before a judge. For example, your first event is your first court date. This will not take place before a judge. The great thing about the new court is that if you follow the process, you should reach a resolution within 12 months or sooner. Your case may involve a mix of face-to-face in-person court events and electronic hearings. Electronic hearings may take place by phone or video, but whatever way, you are still required to comply with all rules and formalities. So what does it mean to have an electronic court hearing? Basically, it's the same as coming to court. It just means you'll access the court through a phone or a laptop. For example, you might be at home, but even so, you still need to be mindful of courtroom formality and etiquette. Make sure you've got everything ready, that you're in a quiet place, that you've got a charger, and check that the light is good. If you've got kids, ask someone to take care of them. Put your phone on silent, and remember, apart from water, there's no eating or drinking at court. Now before we go inside, you have to remember a courtroom is a formal setting. So have a think about what you're going to wear. Make sure it's appropriate and turn off your phone. Here we are. This is what you can expect from an event such as a trial. Court hearings may take place before a judge, a senior judicial registrar or judicial registrar. This is what you can expect from an event such as a final hearing. Today, proceedings will take place before a judge. Here she is. Whenever a judge enters or leaves the courtroom, you must stand and bow. Next to the people who sit at the table in front of the judge, they're called the associates. They're also wearing black robes. In front of the associates, we have the bar table. This is where lawyers sit, facing towards the judge. If you don't have a lawyer, you're welcome to sit here while your case is being heard. You may only address the judge when invited to do so during your case. So what happens when it's your turn to speak? Well, here's what you need to do. First, you must stand. My name is Jane then, you must call the judge, Your Honour. Remember, sometimes the person in the chair might be a senior judicial registrar or a judicial registrar. For these people, simply use their title. If you have a lawyer, your lawyer will be able to guide you through the process and what to expect from each hearing. If you don't, the court staff can assist you, but they're not able to give you legal advice. Please let the associate know if you have a question or need to leave the courtroom before your matter is called. Let's take a look around the room. In the majority of cases, you will not be required to enter the witness box. But if you are asked to give evidence or cross-examined, this is where you will sit. First, you will be asked to swear an oath or affirmation. You may be asked questions by the lawyer for the other party. If you or any of the support people with you are just viewing the hearing, then you must sit here, in the gallery section, at the back of the courtroom. You can also watch other videos such as You Can Separate Smarter, and you'll find more information and helpful links on the page opposite this video.